Hi, in this session I'm going to cover spark lines. Spark lines are tiny charts that you can embed in a cell and they were the brainchild of Professor Edward Tufte. He was the one who coined and pretty much developed the concept of spark lines and in Excel 2010 this is when they first introduced it. What spark lines enable you to do is to do some really quick and easy analysis or comparisons for some data. Now, here's an example of how we can use spark lines. We have a bunch of closing prices for different stocks like Apple, Amazon, Google, Walmart, AT&T, Coca-Cola, McDonald's. Now, spark lines give you a nice little concise view of the trend of the closing price. This is from June 1st to June 15th. Now you can do some kind of quick comparisons to see like well looks like we're an upward trend for these two. This, this looks like it went through a downward trend. Now we can do this in one big chart and it's gonna look like this. And you can probably do a little bit of more modification but if you wanted to get into the details of things maybe a chart would be good that, that lets you do a little bit more. You can probably segregate this couple charts out. But if you wanted to do some quick analysis or quick comparisons, spark lines would probably be a good way to go. Let's give some examples of some modifications or other features that you can do with spark lines. So we have our spark lines. I just chose two stocks here. And there are actually three types of spark lines. We have a line chart. We have these two line charts. These are examples. We have a column, and we have the volume here that represents the column. And we also have something that's called a win loss. And win loss basically shows you the negative versus non -negative, negative versus non negative numbers, and it kind of charts them out like that. So let's go about how to create a spark line. I'm going to go ahead and take this table here. I'm going to do a control C to copy and paste it here, control V to paste and let's spread this out, let me double click the column here to auto fit and to create a spark line all you need to do is go under insert we have the spark lines group and for the closing price I'm going to insert a line and my date, my data range is going to be this here the location range since I was already in that cell I'm just going to click OK and it's going to create that spark line I can also paste, do a control C and do control V and paste the spark line there. And this spark line has already taken the attributes of this because just like a formula, it'll do that. So if I go under edit, see you can see here that um, the context sensitive menu showed up here since I'm in so I clicked into that spark line. Now if I go into edit spark line Let's do the edit, edit this. This is the single spark line that I want to do. It shows me where the group is. Okay. And for a column, it's basically the same thing. Select that column. I can actually just select this column and do a control click and select that column and insert a column spark line. My data range. Let's see if I can let's see if this will work. No, maybe it won't. Maybe I'll just select that and go and insert and select the column and just control C control V and paste it in there so these are my line and column spark lines so let me show you an example of how to create a win loss spark line let's take our Dow data here I'm just gonna take the whole table here control C to copy control V to paste and I'm gonna put my spark line here and I'm gonna to go to insert win loss and my data range is going to be this range here click OK let me just spread this out a little bit so you can see something there and so there it gave the default colors for the blue for anything above zero and the red for anything below zero the negative numbers negative versus positive numbers Let's go on to see how we can tweak some of the attributes of the spark lines. Let's go back to sheet four here. And let's say I wanted to see some high and low points of the spark line. So what you would notice here is if I click on the spark line, the context menu come, tab comes up here. Let's say I wanted the high point 
and I want to show a low point. So it's going to show that there. And the reason why it only shows up here is because I didn't group these. This is separate. So if I grouped these, I do controls, control click and go under here and group them. Any changes that I make to this one will apply to that one. So let's say I wanted to have a high point. High point is there and a the low point shows it there. And you can also have different styles. So, uh, so let's say I want to have the high point green and the low point red. That will click and it takes care of that. Also what happens here is the axis, if you notice since I grouped these, I can sh I can have the vertical axis minimum and maximum values the same. So if you notice the range in the price is about five hundred dollars here and this is two hundred dollars here and it looks like these are on its own axis. So just kind of imagine down here from zero to five hundred but here it goes from zero to I mean excuse me well yeah zero to five hundred and maybe from here it goes zero to two hundred. If we wanted to kind of compare these a little bit more what we can do is change the access to reflect both or all the grouped cells. We can click same for all for the minimum and also same for all for the maximum. So you notice now that these two will represent from zero which is probably the minimum or 200 in this case to 500. So they both reflect the same access. Though at. But that looks kind of hard to read so we're gonna have just change that back to have it automatic for each spark line so they're gonna be on, each spark line is gonna be on their same axis this one's probably 500 something to five, the low point which is 560 to the high 580 and this one is the low point from 208 to around 218 now for the bar chart you will notice that these are not grouped. When I click on one, the other one's not highlighted. And you can see here, if I click on one, the other one's highlighted. So when you group spark, spark lines together, you can pretty much create, or when you modify an attribute, it applies for all. Now let's go to our example of how to do some modifications on the win-loss spark line. So here we have our win-loss spark line. There's some things that we can do. We can have a change the design let's see the green for positive and red for negative we can do that we can also put a little axis uh, show the axis so this is the axis when you really think about it, this is the zero axis so anything above zero is green anything below zero is red now this chart is an overlay or embedded into the cell so we can actually put text in here so let's say that we want to call this Dow Jones Industrial Average year 2000 to 2011 click OK and maybe we want to make the font size a little smaller and bring it up there and then maybe we'll increase this a little bit increase that a little bit and maybe we'll just make that a little smaller not too small. So there you can actually put some some text in here. We can do the same here for for these two. We can say Apple AAPL and make that a little bit smaller and make that go up a little bit and Amazon same thing. Make it a little smaller make it go up there and maybe increase that a little bit so you can see select these both so there's a lot of things you can actually tweak with these spark lines once you have them created just kind of go into the design tab and just kind of look through some of the things if you don't like what you've seen for your spark lines you can uh, you can just remove them you select it and clear you can either clear the selected spark lines or clear your groups so you see that you know there's a lot of things you can do with the spark lines. I deleted those spark lines there, so that contact sensitive menu won't show up anymore. And here you can do the same thing. Go into the design tab, 
and you either clear if you don't like it or ch there's a lot of things you can do just can change change the different options the colors and whatnot so spark lines have a lot of utility a lot of use good way to get an overview quick analysis or comparison of data so I hope this helps thanks for watching